Hey guys, it's uh, great to be able to communicate with you guys on uh, Google Classroom. Keep the comments coming and I will respond to them as soon as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed the video that the staff and I made for you. Um, we truly do miss you guys and can't wait to be with you guys again. Um, now, with that being said, uh, we're going to move on to the next experiment that I have planned for you guys. This experiment is called Cloud Dough. It's quick, easy, and it's only two ingredients. And um, I hope to see what you guys come up with. Feel free to email them to me. You guys might even see them on Google Classroom. Um, I hope you guys have fun with it. I miss you guys. Peace out. All right, let's get down to making some cloud dough. For your ingredients, you're going to need cornstarch, conditioner. You can use whatever kind of conditioner you want. I like the VO5 because it's cheaper. Measuring utensils. And a bowl. Okay, so <clears throat> now that you have your bowl, I again pre-measured my uh, stuff out. So this is the one cup of shampoo and your, my bad, two co cups of cornstarch. So I'm gonna go ahead and carefully dump that in here. Cornstarch is very messy. All right. Now that we got that in there, as you can see, we're gonna add the uh, shampoo to it, or the conditioner actually, not shampoo. Get your finger in there because you're gonna get messy anyways. Get it all out of there. All right, so that's what it kind of looks like right now. Bunch of nothing. So I'm gonna start mixing it with my hand because the hand works better than a spoon. It will stick to you. So we'll just go ahead and continue to stir. And it starts to get a consistency of like dough. But you gotta make sure you mix it all together and there's no color into it right now. Um, you can add food coloring to it, but I probably would do it at this point where you're mixing it together. I haven't had any luck with food coloring in this. Um, I'm wondering if like once it's a dough, if you added a little a uh, few drops to it, it might be okay. Um, yeah. As you can see, it's getting thicker. Okay, I switched pans, so it might be a little easier for you guys to see the consistency through the bowl. So, right here is the dough itself. It um, has like a weird feeling to it, but I mean, again, it is dough. And it's... Uh, when you mix it really, really well, I'm going to break it off in little pieces here. Um, when you mix it really good, it really is dough. So I'm going to do a little experiment with you guys. It does get messy, but I'm going to put a little bit of food coloring in. And of course, I'm going to go with my favorite color, which is green, as some of you might know. I'm going to throw on a couple drops here so you guys can see um, then I'm just gonna keep folding it together um, your hands will get a little dirty from the food coloring but it washes off just so and a lot of hand washing which I'm hoping you guys are all doing um, so it, you can add more if you need to but it's starting to turn green this would be the first time I've ever had success getting, sorry about that, my camera fell. Uh, first success getting any kind of coloring into it, so this is awesome. I, I don't know if you guys can see it, but kind of green. And um, so if you wanted to break it off into smaller groups, you can make multicolors. So you can have green, purple, yellow, orange, and whatever you want, really. So if you guys want to make something... Um, just add a little coloring cool so yeah definitely food coloring at the end once you get it all mixed together so uh it's the end of the video i hope you guys have fun and i look forward to seeing what kind of creations you guys come up with